Hi everybody, this is Arar Mahmood and you, uh, I'm going to present a quick demo regarding Microsoft Excel Power Query with Dynamics AX or AX database. You can join me on Facebook, LinkedIn and you can send me your queries at my email ID mentioned above Zarar, Z -A -R -A -R -M -H -M -O -D, at live.com and you can also comment me on this video. Please subscribe and like if you uh, enjoy this video. Agenda, what is Power Query? Prerequisites for Power Query. Power Query with Dynamics AX database. How we can uh, fetch the data from uh, the database of Dynamics AX. And I will present a, a little bit uh, short demo of uh, Excel with Power Query. Power Query is basically a part of uh, Power BI. I hope you uh, you have knowledge of uh, Power BI. It's an other tool to analyze your data on a portal. So basically, this is an Excel add-in which is free of cost and uh, which help us to analyze the data, combine the data, or reshape the data from the different databases or uh, one database. You can compile in different shapes. It's very, very user friendly. You can uh, develop your custom dashboards. Basically, Excel uh, by using Excel, you can reduce your reporting ad hoc reporting requirements. So I love this tool because in my implementations, I, I normally use uh, Microsoft Dynamics Excel for reporting purpose. This is a little short. Uh, this is an example of different uh, databases and different tools where you can fetch the data and uh, you can combine in Dynamics Excel by using the Microsoft Dynamics Power Query. You can use the different data sources which are by default available when you will install the Power Query. These are the databases. You can get the data from Facebook, Active Directory, XML file, uh, SQL Server, Oracle, Access. Uh, you can have an environment where Oracle database is using. You are using Dynamic CRM. You are using uh, a web page and you need to combine all the data for any your uh, management uh, view or presentation. You can use this tool to get the live data. Prerequisites, you must have my Office 2013 or upgraded term uh, 2016. You can download Power Query from the above mentioned path. Below, uh, once you will uh, download and ins install the Power Query, you just need to go with the Excel options, add-ins. Just click on the uh, Manage in Com add-ins and click on Go button. Then a uh, pop-up will raise. Uh, you will just need to enable the Power View Power Query related uh, add-ins in this uh, option button. <sighs> Here is a little view of my SQL Server. The test database. I need to fetch the data from uh, different tables. For this, uh, uh, there are many uh, sources you can get the data. One is uh, I just need to write in a query, uh, uh, paste that query in Power Query while, while fetching the data. Or second is I can uh, combine the tables in Power Query. Or third is uh, I have to develop a view in the SQL Server and fetch the data from directly that view. So uh, if you are a developer, SQL developer, you have knowledge of uh, SQL uh, development, uh, you, you are very well aware about the view and its uh, pros and cons. So uh, while using a Dynamics AX database, I have just built a view sales data in which I just need the uh, line items detail data, uh, transaction detail, month year, sales name, quantity order, item name, customer group uh, to uh, just to give you a glimpse uh, that uh, how we can develop a, a dashboard or KPI while using this data. So enhancement uh, improvements are there. You can improve uh, this uh, concept and you can also find the many videos and uh, blogs on the internet, Google, YouTube which can help you uh, to learn uh, more about this. And uh, in this video, I will try to explain uh, to the point uh, relevant uh, concept with you guys.
so I have developer sales data view uh, like before I, t I told you so on the that view I just develop a dashboard demo dashboard in which I try to highlight a few of the uh, concept that uh, year wise uh, what are the items I am selling so, uh, group wise uh, you can say the sales name wise so uh, I think we should uh, quickly jump on to the demo let me jump into my Excel. Here I have a, a tab of Power Query. I just need to go into the database, SQL Server. I will just give you my server ID or just dot will present the default database uh, which is installed on your server. I just need to give my default database name. My first shop dynamic AX. This is a default database with default data just to show you the uh, technology concept once I will click on the OK it will uh, get the all uh, related tables in the database views so uh, if you are a technical person uh, you can get the table names from the, the Dynamics AX form or any database and you can combine those tables here I, uh, as I said that I have a view with the name of sales data I will call directly that view because that view has uh, my required data in it I will just load it in my sheet so it will take uh, approximately not more than a second's time so uh, I have just filtered my data in that view just 150 rows uh, because uh, I want to show you the concept not the whole my database so uh, first of all I will need to, I can change my uh, you can say the column header customer ID so if uh, the headers are not user friendly I can change them accordingly so here I, I have option for the slicer for my filtration purpose I can put the slice on sales name customer group uh, sales unit wise delivery name wise once I will put it will show me here now I will go into the insert I will click on my power view reports tab it will insert a report uh, a viewer option the data which will be a present a presentable form for me for the management that I have to just create a first of all I will put a demo dashboard a title now let me start to put the, my slicer here I will pick and drop it here and uh, by default it give me it have some rise this numeric value because these are the here I just uh, click on here and ask him to not to summarize here there are user friendly options you can get those very easily click on slicer it will enable me the filtration on this data the dashboard so second step is to I will put my customer groups here I need to see how many units I have sold according to my customer oh sorry that is the sales unit I don't need this uh, these are the quantity I need to see these are the customer groups in which I am uh, I have sold these uh, quantities I can also put my line amount in front of this so I can click here I can put it here secondly I can uh, see my delivery name wise data line amount I can change the view like I can click here uh, these are the uh, uh, graphics graphs options I just need to click here so it will automatically give me a view I can get the data item 
name wise also so quantity what I sold line uh, item cost will be here uh, cost price what was the item so you just need guys needs to be a few seconds for me because on my laptop I have installed many things to give you the presentation of this just for the presentation so the line amount so uh, I have uh, put a very clear view that which item I have sold in how many quantity or what was the cost price and basically the average cost you can say and the line amount so I can put an other graph here so I can have the data year wise also do not summarize how many uh, quantity I have sold year wise line amount wise I can also have the view of month wise again numeric value I have to click on the 1 11 12 so uh, right now there it is giving me a numeric value uh, January is 1 November December so I can uh, convert it into a, a, a alphabetic name so uh, cost price what was the quantity I sold what was the line amount so and uh, now I just need to customer here for my filtration purpose I will enable the slicing on this so now I, I just need to click on 2012 it will populate the data only uh, with a reference of 2012 years 2013 I just need to see the local uh, customer data from the customer group so uh, see I can select two uh, groups also so uh, how easy and how uh, portable and how uh, user friendly once uh, I will make a dashboard in few minutes so I can save it and I can open it again and again it will fetch the fresh data from the database so uh, I can uh, present I can send this file to my manager or my management so I can publish this file on the portal also here is a mechanism that how this will uh, be updated I just need to go here I can click on the connection properties sorry uh, uh, properties I can set here that refresh data I can refresh here the data connection properties yes I can uh, make this file refreshable after uh, when I need to refresh this file so uh, rest of the uh, maximum features are of the Excel features so you guys can uh, view in detail also so I will try to explain uh, uh, more in my session uh, in my uh, second presentation so if you guys think that uh, this can help you in your day-to-day -day reporting you can use this feature uh, after installing Excel with any database any data source so uh, which will reduce your dependency on the developer or ad hoc reporting so by learning this uh, sh short videos I hope you can uh, create a, a ad hoc report or a dashboard or, or Excel based report while uh, with the use of Power Query. So if you really like this video, please uh, subscribe, like and comment here. Thank you so much for watching this.